Yes. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a it's been a little while, like not too long, but just just enough time. I don't know. Hopefully you guys are hanging in there. Bear with me, man. Bear with me, but <clears throat> it's been mad stuff going on in the background. Mad stuff going on in the background. This being one of them. As you can see this little toe rag here. Trying to build that up. <clears throat> but finally, 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 your boy Street Mods got a new place. So had got a place with a garage. So boom. Mad things can happen. Mad things. Also, 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 this at the same time, this is gonna be a car reveal video. So I want to show you the newish car. Some of you, if you're on Instagram, you got me on Instagram, you'd know that what car I've got. But for you guys that's only on YouTube, this is the car that I've got. Got a Mark V GTI. That right there. There. So what I've done to this was in the background, before even, before even, you know, the, the, the minute I got it, you know I had to street mods it. So I wanted to make it a bit different. The first thing I done was got coilovers. So I got the maddest coilovers in the hair. Uh, what are they? Megan coilovers, Megan racing, wicked, wicked adjustables. So dampening adjustables, sick, sick, sick. Um, then I went and got the front lip. It's a, I think it's a Vortex front lip. Um, yeah, I think it's a Vortex, uh, actually not a Vortex front lip because they look very, very similar. Um, it's a edition, I think it's edition 30. I think it's edition 30, I think. I think, it, I think that's what it is. Edition 30 um, front lip at the bottom. Then I've got the R-line, then I've got the R-line grills here for the side. And I've got the Wolfberg edition front grill, which is kind of similar to the R32 one. That's the reason why I got it, because I wanted to just, I wanted to change up the front. So this whole front is like a facelift. It's like a facelift front. Let me drop the thing. You see the, the two litre FSI in here. It's got, uh, it already came with an induction kit and a tune already. So yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. So the bodywork isn't the greatest. Um, but I just, I, I, I said I was going to do, do some bits to that and it come out a bit, but yeah, this is it hair basically. So this is a face, this is basically a whole facelift right, right here, man. I need to do some bits. So I wrapped, I wrapped this because I didn't like the, you know, I didn't, it wasn't faded, but I think I just, just to change things up, I sprayed the grill, wrapped that in carbon fiber, you know, it's got the holes there. So I was planning on doing some bits to that. Uh, wrap the bottom lip. Uh, it had some stone chips on it, so I'm gonna polish polish the front. I kind of filled those in. I'm gonna polish the front, and that's it, man. This is the GTI. Also, 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 couldn't forget these seats. I I, I got these seats. Um, I had to because the seats that I was in it were just terrible, man. Real sick, like so. These seats, the Brom seats. Uh, Brom recli reclining seats, uh, they feel quite good. I've got a little boost gauge going on just to see how much boost is running, then I could tell how uh, if it was tuned or not. So, so I've got the boost gauge. So, and what else, I, what else did I do? I've done the, the lining because the lining was, was horrific. I've done the headliner, you can't see it, but it's black, black headliner. In this like it's like a checkered it's like a checkered what's it called headliner it looks quite sick actually and i've got these mats kind of you know kind of make it look a little bit sexy that i put the blue light underneath yeah kind of make it look a little bit sexy inside man you know kind of kind of street mods in it a bit but this is more like a daily so i was planning on putting this engine in uh but it's going to be too much of a hassle because of the mounting points it be too much of a hassle to put that in. And plus, also, plus also, trying to do like any type of, literally like, being here in the US and trying to get a car, like a modified car smoked, if 
you guys in the UK don't know what smog is, it's basically it's just hassle, bro. It's just mad hassle. That's this. That's what put me off this. That is what put me off this because after after I got this and I put the turbo in this, uh, getting this smog is just it's just a mad. It just it's just so mad trying to get this smog, but it's just it's mad, man. It's really really crazy, and also um, it's just. Because of the ECU, is, uh, it's got a different ECU and it was EMU black. It's just going to be such a headache trying to... Oh man, it's just crazy, bro. You have to go through the madness. I just about got a smog on the GTI. Literally, with a stage with this stage one, with this little stage one tune, I just about got a smog on it. Now I've got the garage going on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing... I'm going to be diving into this. I've got quite a lot of work that I need to do on this. So I'm going to be diving into this. I'm going to be changing up a few things on this. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Because it's going to be real real soon. I've got the oil leak coming from the main seal. So the engine's coming back out again. Uh, then I'm going to change up a lot of stuff, man. I'm going to check the, the coolant system and that. I'm going to make another coolant system for it. Yeah, man. So I've got a lot of stuff that I need to do to it. That I want to, I literally want to do that. A lot of like, wiring stuff. That I finally want to finalise the wiring and stuff and get and cut cut some wires and get rid of some rid of some crap. Uh, get rid of the fuel rail just in case I want to run E85 and this is like a steel stainless steel fuel rail. So I want to get rid of that. I'm not sure what fuel rail I'm going for. So if uh, Beastbox is listening or watching, may have to go with Beastbox. So I didn't want to get CTS or anything because this it's just commercial, isn't it? So. Ah, yeah, man, I reroute all this and uh, change the fuel lines because these fuel lines are absolute crap. Changes because these are absolute whack, man. These are absolute whack. Um, and then, so I'm going to do hard lines with uh, PTFE. PTFE? PTFE. And then also, uh, sort out some bits, man. Get rid of that, um, this homemade, uh, it's like, it's the cheap one, isn't it? It's the cheap in, um, engine, uh, gearbox mount. So, I got some gearbox mounts that I want to put on this, uh, just for the gearbox mount, and then uh, just relocate—not relocate—put a new one of these on, which is a coolant tank. Make it, make one for it, because this is just like a, you know, just like one of those caps, uh, which is which bleeds off into into this. But I want to get rid of this as well. So just clean up some bits, man. Apart from that, it's not too bad. I got a spacer on this, and you know the Pelophonic spacer. I got that, and I got that on this, which is pushing this. Uh, too far out. I've got this uh, inlet which I don't like, but I'm not going to change it because it's gonna, this means I'm going to have to change everything else. So um, I'm going to take the, the inlet off. Should give me some more space with this. Uh, I'm going to so we should, this should bring all this in a bit, and then also I'm going to get a new fan because because of this this is pushing everything that way. The throttle body is quite close to the it's not close to the fan now, but I've had to cut a lot of the fan, which I'm going to get I'm going to get a new fan. Ah, oh, man, it's just mad talking about it. It's just mad talking about it. I have a lot to do, but uh, I do two main things that I do want to do. Going back main things I want to do. I want to sort out, I want to. I would love to relocate the ECU to inside. And I would also like to relocate the fuse box inside as well. That was free up so much space here. Imagine this, imagine this gone, man. I'd be mad. Boom. Ooh. Anyway, so much, so much, so much work. I'd love to put uh, bags on this, clean up the bodywork. That would be sick. It's a clean car, man. Otherwise, like, apart from these little stone chips and then this little lacquer, this little lacquer patch here that's missing. Uh, these are actually, and these wheels on it are Mark 5, uh, sorry, Mark, uh, Mark 8. Mark 8 alloy wheels that I picked up, man. Uh, quite cheap as well, so put some tyres on that. Uh, these are literally brand new. The guy got them, didn't like them because they were gloss black. So he sold them. Uh, that's it, man. Got two GTI, uh, two Mark 5s here. There's a massive, 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 massive difference between the Mark 5, between the Mark 5 GTI and the Mark 5 R32. Massive, massive, massive difference. It just, even with the facelift, even with the facelift, mad man, mad. There's just no comparison. There's no comparison. So, and this is the garage. Should have taken you around the garage first. So this is it here. 
So my stuff, tools and stuff, weights hair, bike hair, engine hair, crane hair, you know, you need the crane, bro, you need the crane. I need to get another stand, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this on the stand, the, this VR6 on the stand, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have this on the stand. So it's gonna be sick here. It's gonna be sick. Get some pictures on the wall, you know, some Fast and Furious pictures on the wall. Yeah, get a TV. Come on, come on, man, come on, come on. I got my my welding stuff, my welding stuff here. Cause I need to get back into welding. Uh, got my little my little laptop, you know, when I, you know, my little laptop stuff here. The welder here. My little toolbox here, it's just a little toolbox, but I want to get a bigger toolbox and a TV here. So I've got some, I've got some plans here, man. I've got some plans. Get a, get a picture here and then and a picture here and then a TV here. Mad, mad, just, just mad plans. Mad, mad unnecessary plans. Mad unnecessary plans. But anyway, this is it, man. This is it. I had to sort the first, first things I had to do was sort out the lighting because the lighting was just mad in here. If you don't do any type of filming or any type of car work, it's just going to be just gonna be mad so that's the updates man that is the updates for now so stay tuned and just giving you like a little tour a little you know a little update what's going on the cars um the gti i don't know bro i don't know i just i just i wanted i wanted that engine to fit but at the same time um dealing with this and the smog and that it's just such an off-put tuning flipping cars over here it's just mad bro <sighs> anyway, enough of the headache. Stay tuned. We'll catch up. Um, watch out for some of the shorts that I'm that I'm gonna be doing as well. I'm, gonna, I'm throwing in some shorts in there as well. I'm throwing in. I don't mean shorts as in like shorts and slippers. I'm talking about shorts. You know, I'm talking, you know, what shorts. I'm talking about. But anyway, stay tuned. Bless up. We'll catch up soon. Peace out.